Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Today I want to talk about single speed drive trains and whether or not a mid drive makes sense to do it or whether you should put a hub motor on it. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I do custom e bike conversions, motorcycle conversions, online. We do everything custom e bike related. So if you're interested in more, e-bike related videos check out the other videos um, how to install stuff hacks all that stuff i th this is gonna be a little controversial but i still go mid-drive even when it's a single speed drivetrain and i would still recommend to go singles uh mid-drive on a single speed just for the fact this is on a motorcycle here that you can still change your gear ratio you can upgrade sprockets so you could change sprockets to get you a different gear ratio to get you different performance with a hub motor you're stuck with whatever the gearing is inside that hub motor there's always a planetary gear a gear reduction of some sort inside a motor you're stuck with that um, you can up upgrade your your human powered gear ratio but that's not nearly as important and that's not going to affect performance so I like, even on a bicycle, so you got a single speed here, you could change this, you could change this. If you're riding it for a while and you're like, eh, I wanna be able to change it, get better performance. However, you can totally go, you know, whether you're doing a motorcycle or you're going for a bicycle or somewhere in between, you can go with a hub motor. Hub motors are generally more e easier to put in. They're just gonna be an easier install and also, you can see here, like on a motorcycle, if I were to put a hub motor in here, that would leave all this space for battery. You know, you're putting the, mo the hub right there, it'll change the aesthetics a little bit. You know, that's up to you whether you think it's good or bad. But you would all get all that room for battery. So there's definitely pluses of going with a hub motor. Easier install, more room for a battery. The pluses of going with a mid-drive are performance. You get to change it, you get to dial it in exactly how you want it. Um, so it de depends on what camp you're in, what, what is more important to you. Ease of install, more, more room for a battery, if that's applicable, applicable. Um, or if you're all about performance and dialing in, customizing, go mid-drive. All right, thanks a lot guys. If you have further questions on this, go to johnnynerdout.com to you know get all your e-bike parts help if you want to book a consultation you're like man i'm just i'm hung up on this problem or i don't even know where to start go to johnnynerdout.com go to book a consultation i love doing it people love them too so hopefully that helps you guys take it easy